everybody. I just wanted to introduce myself to you all. Um, my name is Kelly Horton and I am the artist behind the Little Darlings adult colouring books. Um, I'm going to add flip throughs to all the books onto my YouTube channel anyway, but I just wanted to formally say hello. Um, thank you for buying all of my books. I am so appreciative of it and thank you for the amazing comments that are left on my YouTube pages or my Facebook or my Facebook groups. Um, I just wanted to come on, say hi, um, show you the books that I have for sale at the moment. I'm not going to do the flip throughs to the camera right now because, um, well, it tends to not work this way. I'll um, show you the, the books and then I will add the flip throughs from the top to the bottom so you can see all the pages that you want to see. So the first colouring book that I made in the style of The Little Darlings was The Little Darlings. So this is the first book. Um, I don't know, I can't even remember, 2018. So this one came out in 2018. This was the first book that I did and it's got lots of um, fairies, mermaids um, and elves in. I'll just show you a couple of my favourite. So I did a, a colour along with that one just the other day um, that quite a few people came on. It was a live stream that's still available to watch if you want to. It's on my um, channel. So there's this one. I love this one um, with the anchor. Sometimes I just love, th I love them. I just don't know why. There's just particularly ones that I really like and then there's others that I absolutely hate. And again, I, I don't know why. Um, my son wanted me to draw a dragon. Now, I, I'm not really into drawing dragons. So, <laughs> because he nagged and nagged and nagged, I said that I would. So I did. I just got round it by drawing that tiny little dragon at the top there. I did the silhouette of a dragon, which technically is still a dragon. So it's that page. So when he realised, when I told him I'd drawn a dragon, and he found out it was this little tiny dragon he was not impressed with me at all but i still drew a dragon um so having a quick flip through this was the first ever uh, little darlings coloring page i'd ever drawn this was number one this is where they started so this is probably always going to be my favorite if this one had gone badly i would never have continued i wouldn't have drawn anymore i just would have stopped there so I'm glad that that went well. Um, let's have a look. So the next the next one was Storybook Darlings. All these are available on Amazon and Etsy. So through my Etsy shop, I sell them um, as a PDF. But on Amazon, they all come, back, come through as, as paperbacks. So yeah, this is Storybook Darlings. This one was based on storybook stories. Um, so I have... What I tried to do, because I thought I was being clever was take some traditional stories and then just change them up a little bit just make them different so see if i can find her i really really like ursula from the little mermaid now obviously she's the bad guy so you're not supposed to like her but i like her so i wanted to do one of her but i didn't want to draw her you know like the way disney did so she looks quite harsh and not very attractive and I just thought that was really mean so instead I did this version I don't know if you can see that very well so there she is walking down what's it called Marina Boulevard carrying bags from Blotsam and Jetsam and Triton Boutique so it was just supposed to take something that we already knew as a story and then just just change it up a little bit and make something you know really pretty from it um this is not sleeping beauty or snow white this is actually the queen um i do think these queens get a really bad rap you know if you think about it sometimes our daughters may not drive us to put a curse on them but they do drive us a little bit mad don't they um this is the fairy godmother from cinderella again i didn't want to draw you know cinderella i thought the the godmother had why can't she get a chance to you know be on the front page instead of the the princess so that's kind of what i did with the book um i have a pirate in here i didn't want to do peter pan so i changed them into 
um i did the pirate instead obviously it was a female pirate i don't draw boys that may be something i'm gonna have to get used to but i don't draw them yet and i did robin hood and sherwood forest obviously it's a woman can you tell that we're all feminists in my house um the next one i drew was the littlest darlings so i wanted to create a world where i can have all these characters and it's something that can go on for a long time so they can all be branched out into different areas and they can all do different things and they would all come back to the same style of drawing and to the same world basically so this was the littlest darlings and the other books the last one what did i add this had the same as the first so sorry i'm going back this had the colour swatch index at the back and it had skin tone sheets and I'll just quickly show you what I mean. So the colour swatch was for you to keep track of the colours you'd used on the different pages. So if you'd used um, certain combinations of colours and you didn't want to lose them, you would put them there, name them and then at any point if you look back in your book and you think how did I do that, you'd be able to find it. And then what I did for... Um, your skin tones was basically give a few pages in which you can practice colouring skin tones. Yeah, right. So it's here. So at the back of the book, I added these. There's quite a few of these pages so that you can try different colours. So you can make combinations of different skin tones. Uh, make a note at the side what they are and you can do that before you actually colour on a page so if you're concerned that you're not going to be able to to complete it because you're worried about doing portraits then you've got that opportunity at the back to have a go at creating the skin tones without really worrying about whether or not you've got it right or you've got it wrong because you can just practice whereas with this one this one i created a how to draw section and this is what I mean about me trying to add things in that I didn't really think other people were doing yet. So this is The Littlest Darlings and it's probably the cutest of the books. I mean, they are cute. I mean, look, this, this one's knitting. I know I drew it, but that's really cute. I can't help it. I think that's really cute. Everybody else might think I'm mad, but I think that's cute. And uh, what else have we got? Look at the one with the ducks. See, who wouldn't want to colour that? So what I did, I'd added the colour swatch index again. And I'd included the skin tone practice sheets. You also have the character sheets, which have been in all the books. So that's just like at the back. It shows who they are and shows what their name is. And then I've had the, the how to draw section has now been added. So this is the thing that I think... I am really wanting to work toward. I really want more of this. So I decided, I am getting there, I'm trying to find it. So I'd made templates of kind of how I would draw these characters. So as you can see, I've got down, this is kind of like a, a measurement. So this, this is, it's a scale of two centimetre per square. So if you follow this, you could actually draw one of the characters because they are not a normal size. They are obviously, um, they've got very large heads, very small bodies. So to get that, um, the size, it's there so that you could actually follow it and create the sizes yourself. Um, I've got lots of handy hints in. The head is approximately 1.5 times the size of the body. Um, I told you why I emphasise the eyes and the eyelashes. The body is shorter and childlike. You can follow the measurements. You can use it as a template. And then as we go on to the next one, I have left just the template for you. So you don't have all the underlines. You don't have the actual um, character and the eyelashes and the eyes. So it may be a little bit easier for you to do this. And I don't mind, you know, if you photocopy this. I don't mind that. If you photocopy it because you need to practice... I'm fine with that. I know some artists don't like that, but I'm, I don't mind. That's not a problem to me. So after that pose, I then did a seated pose. So you can draw the characters in slightly different positions. 
and then I also added some facial features of the little darlings. You'll know all of them have big eyes. They all have big eyes, long lashes. So I've um, done like templates again for you here. So you can see what mine look like. And then you can use a faded line that I've created to go over the top, add your own eyelashes and add your own um, bits and pieces to them. And that goes on to the last one. There's a couple of these pages though where you can use the eyes here, um, different expressions. This one's crying at the bottom. So you can actually use that as a template and create something yourself. So although, you know, I want you to colour my books, at the same time, I don't see why um, you can't learn how to draw things as well. So anyway, this is the last book. This is Little Darlings. No, sorry, Little Darklings. This is the Halloween version. But once again, this has um, a how to draw section, how to draw, colour swatch index. Uh, this has skin and hair practice sheets in this one and includes character sheets, which they always do. And I actually really like these ones because I got to be a bit, a bit funky with them. Got to be a little bit gothic, a bit of a throwback to the 90s and my black hair and black clothes, which I'm sure a lot of you can uh, relate to. Yeah, some of these, I mean, I focused a lot more on really going into the character. I still have lots of backgrounds and I still make them quite complicated. But at the same time, I really wanted some close-ups of them so you could really focus on the hair and the skin and the eyes and, you know, I'm making them the way that you want them to look. So I like that one with the crystals. That one would look really, really good um, with a kind of, kind of like a prismatic colour scheme, um, making each crystal look like they're 3D-ish. I'll have to do um, a tutorial on that because that would look really good. And there's that one. I like that one with the cats. Um, let's see what else. Was that one I thought that one was cute and um, I think this is my favorite from the book so it's that one I love all the dragons so I did I did actually my son did get his wish I did draw dragons I just drew really cute little dragons so anyway that's it that's me there's the books that are out on sale now um, from Amazon in paperback from my Etsy um, in PDF version but right now on Amazon and on Etsy my books are half price they will only be half price until the 10th of May after the 10th of May they will be going back to their normal prices so if you don't have any of my books now would be the best time to buy them I will put links down there there um, in the description <laughs> So if you do choose to buy the book, that's absolutely brilliant. Please remember, though, that you can come and find me on my social media. Um, I will put in the description the um, links to my Facebook page, my Facebook group, my art page. I like to see what you guys create with my colouring pages. So I'll do the line bit and then you do the colouring bit. If you come on, join my groups and share with me. I'd really appreciate that. I love seeing all of that. And um, yeah in these very strange and odd and different times that the whole world is facing at the moment we're all living very different lives than we thought we would be living only three months ago so if you're stuck in the house or you're staying in the house or you're on lockdown stay safe get creative use your time to find something about yourself that maybe you didn't know about um, let's look at this positively if we possibly can and let's find new skills within ourselves we didn't know that we had before because right now it's quiet. Right now we're at home, right now we're stuck inside which means we have the time and the privacy to find something that makes us truly happy. So when this finishes and we come out the other side we can have all learnt something from this experience um and 
stay safe, stay home. If you're in England, we're shielding the NHS. We will continue for as long as we need to. Um, yeah, take care.